Dick, so we're here at the Billy Gibbons display. Explain to everybody how Billy Gibbons influenced the Cars and Guitars event. Well, this is one section of our car, Cars and Guitars and Rock and Roll exhibit. And Billy is a good personal friend and been a friend of the museums for a long time. And he's a real gearhead. So I, I was talking to Billy, and I said, Billy, I'd like to borrow a couple of your cars, and we'll do in the Hollywood Gallery, we'll do a display of your cars and your guitars. So um, he got talking, he said, well, yeah, he said, we can do that, that's not a problem. He said, if you talk to Eddie Van Halen, uh, maybe he'd like to put a car in there. And uh, this is an outlet for these artists. They love their cars, they, it's something else creative for them to do, is to design their cars, build their cars. In the first exhibit, we had Cadzilla over here. This is Billy Gibbons' Cadzilla. Nice. This is one of the first cars he designed and built. This is also one of the first cars that, that Boyd Connington, a, a world famous designer and con, uh, constructor of custom cars and hot rods. This car is a 49 Cadillac slantback that has been, you know, dropped on the ground. Uh, it's got a big motor in it. It's all customized by Boyd Connington. And then the Slam Paul over here is a, a, a 1962 Chevrolet Impala, and it's called Slam Paula because the car slammed on the ground. That's an expression for for putting the car down low, particularly in the front, slamming the cars. Is down on the ground. Uh, and this one? And uh, Hogzilla. This is Hogzilla. This is also done by Cotty. This is a, a Harley Davidson that uh, was also designed like Billy, for, by Billy, but but it's got the same lines as the Cadzilla. So it's a Hogzilla that goes with the Cadzilla. The relationship between automobiles and music, and particularly rock and roll, goes way back to right after World War II. It just happened that the car radio technology advanced about the same time. So the, these things are going down parallel paths. You had your car, you had your car radio, and you had rock and roll. All right, Dick, so tell us about this stock Nova. Why, why is it this in, is this in the exhibit? Yeah. This is Chris Isaac's car. Chris Isaac is a famous you know, TV yeah. and, and, and movie guy, and a rock and roller, and, and a, a great musician. But this is his only car, or was. Now he's got another car, so he's... He sort of restored this car. It used to be, uh, you know, pretty funky, and he's got a surfboard on the, on the top. He's a real surfer, so that's a real deal, and that's his board. And uh, this is this is a car he's had all his life. This was his first automobile. He's kind of it's kind of a signature car with him, as a lot of the cars in this exhibit are. The rock and rollers are identified by the the car they drive. Oh, there goes Chris Isaac's Nova, you know, down the street, and Chris will be driving it. But he did he did finally break down, uh, you know, with all his money and bought it bought a newer car, so he doesn't drive it all the time. So we were able to get it for the exhibit. Thank <laughs> you.